Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. As you can see, I could just a little notification here to say you have no unread notifications. All right, this is just for me. We haven't created this yet. This is just for myself. So what we're going to do in this lesson is, as you can remember from the previous one, we finished up with the event, the listener, and we registered the event. All right, what I want to do in this one is I want to be a creator reply factory. Okay, then we just modify our thread factory to be able to create replies on our factory then we create a notification seeder so that we can be able just to work with our lifewire components just to make our jobs a whole lot easier just a little bit easier to be able just to continue forward All right so what we're going to do is we're going to create a seeder a factory first for our reply then we're going to create a notification seeder. Then we just reseed our database. Then after that, we just create our LifeWire components so they can update accordingly. All right, we're obviously going to create them. And let's get started. All right, so let's open up our terminal. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to create our reply factory. So PHP artisan make, and we're going to make a factory. And we're going to call it the reply factory. Okay, then you just press enter. Right, so if we go to database, factories, as you can see, we got our reply factory right here. So we obviously got our thread factory, if you guys remember from the previous lessons. But now we're just going to create the reply factory. So when we see that our database just makes our job a lot easier, especially if we're going to do deal with our LifeWire components, this will be quite handy instead of having to actually create everything in the front end. All right, so let's quickly go to our definitions, our reply model. As you can see, it's already being imported for us right there, which is a very good thing. All right, so obviously there's a couple of things that we need to add in here. As you guys remember, let's just open our reply model quickly. So just to refresh anyone's memory, All right? We have a body tags that we need to fill in. Okay, so let's start off with that one. Right, we're going to use obviously Faker to fill in those details so for our body. We're going to use this uh, Faker and we just want to use some text. Okay. The next one that we want to use is the author ID. Okay. Author ID. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to give it some space like this so that you guys can easily see it. The next one, the author ID, we can just gonna take in the attributes. Attributes, if I can spell it correctly. Attributes. Right, if the author ID is available in the attributes, so author ID, okay, question mark. If it's available, okay, and then if it's not, then we're just going to create a use a user factory user factory and we're just going to create an id for that okay just going to pass in the id right so if the attribute author id like that just make sure you spell it right if it's available then use the author id if not just create a user for that author id right there Right, the next one is going to be the repliable ID. So, repliable ID. Okay. The reason why I'm putting the spaces again, I'm just mentioning for anybody that's new, you you can actually do it like this. All fine, all right. The reason why I'm doing it like this so that if your eyes just look quite easy to scroll over the things that I'm typing, so that you can see what is happening. Okay. So the next thing, if the attributes, let me just put it in there. If the attributes are repliable, repliable ID is available, then use it. If not, then create thread uh, factory. We're going to do the same thing. Then we're just going to create basically a new thread with the ID. Okay, let me just give me some room there so you guys can easily see it. All right, the next one is going to be the repliable 
type if you guys remember okay the pliable type okay and this one is basically going to be our thread but we haven't created let's just see i hope we created that constant so let's just make sure we import this at the top as well right our user model let's just bring that in just make i'm just going to keep emphasizing it the next one is our thread model just make sure you import it at the top our thread table as you can see it brings us the threads right there so if we click on it you can see a constant table self table all right good stuff right so basically this is now our reply factory created so the next thing that we need to do is we need to go to our reply Let's give us some room here so i can show you the next thing that we want to do is we go to our seeders you guys remember we had a thread seeder right here all right so, so we're going to update this a little bit here in order so when we run the thread seeder we can actually create a reply as well all right so what we're going to do is we're going to go reply uh, factory just make sure we import the reply as well at the top always okay reply factory okay so what we want to do in this one Right, we're creating. Let's just go to the thread factory quickly. I don't need this. The factory. All right, under the thread factory right here. As you can see, we bring in the title and then we assign a random, the author ID and things like that to between three and nine, the category ID between one and seven. All right, so we're obviously not assigning any threads to our let's let me just use go to our user seeder right here we're obviously not signing any this is our one you author id number one this is our author id number two and then between three and whatever the number might be three and twelve this will be for the other authors all right so but i want to assign a thread to author id number two all right there's a reason why i'm showing you the author right here all right so in our thread class right here we just i want to create a new th a new thread uh let me just delete this one all right because i don't want too many threads actually created let's create 10 in this case all right and i want to pass in the author id right here author id okay and the author id will be id number two all right so the author id number two that comes from my user factory this guy right here mr john doe is author number two as you can see it pass and actually see the database from top to bottom so at one will be author id number one the author id number two will be john doe and then obviously the rest after that all right so in a thread stable cd we're going to create just 10 threads all right and we're going to assign some of them to author id number two Right, the next part that we want to do is we want to create a reply as well all right let's just go here we're going to create a couple of replies uh, create all right then we're going to pass in author id or number two as well because i'm going to work mostly with john doe on this one and then the repliable repliable id and then I'm going to assign to one as well. So what this means is the repliable ID. This will be the threads ID. Remember, the repliable ID is basically the ID of our threads because of the polymorphic relationship. So this will be basically the thread with the ID of one. Okay. Right. That's the first one we're going to create. We're just going to create a couple of them. So just copy them down. Uh, let's just do it a little more like this going to create four replies and this one will be number two and this one number two as well all right so thread number two basically john doe is creating a reply in there. okay and in the factory no not this not this in our reply factory right there basically this is the thing that we're assigning to it okay so that's now we're done with our threads table okay so our reply model is all do, done the next thing that we want to do is we want to create now a notification all right so we want to create a notification cedar all right so let's open up our terminal 
Okay, so we're going to do PHP artisan make seed. We're just going to call it notification seeder. Like that. Press enter. Hopefully, I spelled everything correct. And let's open it notification seeder. Notification seeder. All right, so now we've got our notification seeder open. In order to get there, just go to, let me just show you, database, seeder, and you will see notification seeder right there. All right, so there's a couple of things that I want to do in here. All right, I want to bring in all the replies. Okay, so we're going to get all the replies. Remember, we created four replies in our threads table seeder here. We've got four replies right there. All right, if I ever explain things, I just want people to understand where that comes from. So we get all the replies, okay? That's why I create the replies, because we want to, basically for each reply, we want to notify the author of that, of that thread to basically get a notification. Listen, you've got a new notification, someone actually replied to your thread, okay? And later on, we will add that for the subscriptions as well. All right, so for all the reply, okay, then we've, we're going to, for each one, we're just going to create a function. Then we're going to pass through the reply. There's a reply. Right, so just make sure we import this at the top as well. Otherwise, we're going to get some weird errors if we don't, because Laravel or the VS Code won't know what you're doing. All right, so for all the replies, on each of the replies, we're going to create a function. So that's why the open and closing brackets are there. Then we're going to get the reply. All right, this reply right here. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to get the reply bull. Okay. Then we're going to get the author of that reply bull. Okay. So you guys remember every reply is a reply bull, and the reply bull is the thread, basically. So the thread have an author. Then we're going to get that author. Okay, then we're going to send a notifications. Notification. Okay, then we're going to create a notification. Okay, then we're obviously going to do that in array. All right, now there's a couple of things that we need to pass in. You guys remember we had the type. Okay, the type will be new, new reply notification class, like that. All right, that's the type. The next thing is the data. Okay, so where I'm getting all of this, let you guys remember when we did our migrations in our notification. Let me just go there. I like to explain things as I go along. So that. The whole purpose is for you not just to type along, but to understand what I'm doing. All right, as you guys see, this type when we create a notification, the type right here is what I'm referencing here. Okay. The next thing that we do is we're passing the data right in that field right there. The data is what I'm referencing here. So we're obviously going to create an array of data. In the data, we're going to do a type. And we're going to say this is a new reply. Okay. And the next one, okay, let me just show you this, this right here, what I'm referencing here. So if we open up our, um, let's go app, notifications, new reply notification. You see this two database right here. I'm referencing this part right here. The type, new reply, this this in this okay so the two database i'm referencing this right here in our data right there okay so that's where that comes from all right the next one is going to be our reply and our reply will be our reply id remember we created a method of id inside our reply model okay so Otherwise, someone might be new. They won't, will think, or oh, why don't I do this? That's the correct way to do it. Or if you create it, let's just go here. If you create it in your model, we're referencing 
this method right here in our reply model. All right. So the next thing, let's move on. Otherwise, I'm taking up too much time. Reply the bull ID. Okay, let me just give you some room here. All right. The repliable ID will basically be our reply. Replyable. All right. As you can see, on this case, I'm referencing the reply author right there. Okay. This repliable author. Now that repliable is basically our thread. Okay. Now we're gonna just gonna get that repliable. I don't want to do that repliable ID. That. All right. The next one is going to be our repliable type. All right. The repliable type. I'm just going to do apply, apply. All right, the next one is basically our replyable type. We added that in, and then we're going to add our replyable subject. Okay, and that is going to equal to our replyable subject. Let me just get this reply. Repliable, and we just want to get the repliable subject. This one right here. Obviously, this method, if you can remember, we, uh, we implemented the interface in our thread model. So, this is the interface that we created. So, let's just open our thread model quickly. So, the, you see, we implemented the repliable interface, this interface right there. And then we created the repliable subject right here, which is the title of the thread. Okay, so that we I'm, I'm making doing this just to make sure we don't lose anybody, All right? So that you know where everything is coming from, All right? So a repliable subject is referring to our threads model, and in our threads model we're referring to our title right there, our repliable subject. This one right here that's implementing this. And this is basically the interface of contract, and in the contract we're just getting the title right there. Right, so that's basically our notification stable cedar, and obviously after this, this right here, we just need to add some timestamps. Okay, so the first field is going to be our created add field. Okay, and the other one is going to be our updated add fields. Okay, the only thing that I will add in there, I'm going to do it for both, is just we're just going to do the reply dot created at like that. Right, this again comes from our created at has timestamp. So in our model right there, we're bringing in that has timestamps. That model. Actually, here I'm referring to the reply model. Just go there. Reply model. If we go on top. You can see we bring in the hash timestamps. Reason for that is I'm I'm actually referencing the reply model right here. Okay, because of that right there. As you can see, we bring in the hash timestamps. Okay, so that's why I can call on the created add method as is because we created a trade for our hash timestamps. Right. Let me open up our database cedar right here next thing that we want to do is we want to just make sure that you bring in the notification stable cedar underneath all your threads because your notification cedar is going to rely on the replies okay so if you put the notifications above the threads uh, then the replies have not been created yet so i'm just going to do let me just do it like this Deleted and notifications notification table. See that. As you can see, I just created notification cedar. I normally do notification table cedar, but anyway, that also works. All right, so actually don't need to do that. All right, so we got our notification cedar. Just make sure you put it underneath your threads table. Cedar because 
with threads in your thread you can create the replies and your notification is going to rely on that replies all right otherwise it sees the database with the threads if you do it above that it's not going to create the reply the notifications all right anyway let's quickly seed our database so we're all done here so let's seed our database all right so let's quickly do that so php artisan migrate fresh this is c all right so we're going to do that so press enter and probably going to get an error if we didn't import everything at the bottom as well okay okay no errors all right we're all good so we seeded our database so i just quickly because i know i'm running a bit over time so let's quickly go and see our cedar database quickly all right i just want to show you as you can see then you have no notification disappeared all right um, we haven't coded it yet but this is just for my own reference as you can see the notification uh, disappeared to say that you don't have any notification meaning that john does got notifications okay that's not the red right so let's go into our first one right here we've got our threads table seeder obviously we seeded the database with the different authors as you can see number one uh thread number one and two and up to four is written by john doe all right as you can as you see hover over there it shows john doe all right let me just go back browse again next one is we need to go to the replies as you can see we have four replies the repliable tab is under threads and the author of the replies is john doe as well so basically john doe replied to his own threads all right and the repliable tab is the two ids of one and two so like four our thread ids one and two all right the next thing that we want to do is we want to check our notifications as you can see we got our notifiable id is two all right under users and app notifications reply notifications right there so the type so it bring in the right notification the type as well so that's all good and as you can see the data right there is all in there and as you can see it haven't been read by john doe as well all right so our notification work all right i'm well over time so in the next one we have now our notifications and things all set up uh, now we can be dealing actually with that notification and display them i'm going to be going to use lifewire to do that and yeah all right so thank you guys for watching this was just a necessary step for us to when we create the lifewire instead of i have to go to the main page again like here and create a reply and stuff like that and it just wastes time all right and that's why factories and cedars are there just to kind of speed up our workflow as well all right thank you guys for watching if you like the video please give it a like if you don't please give it a dislike all right really appreciate you for being here and yes things are getting exciting and let's just finish this part up and the next part what we will do is we will do the liking part of the post all right thank you guys and see you in the next one goodbye